seabed constructor disappeared from radar exactly 10 days into the new search for around 80 hours as he looks for missing Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. MH370 vanished without a trace on March 8, 2014, taking with it 239 passengers and crew shortly after taking off from Kuala Lumpur International Airport. The search vessel's automatic identification system was switched off for more than three days last week during its combing of the ocean. It went dark during the search sending MH370 sleuths into meltdown, comparing its disappearance to that of the plane itself. MH370 disappeared after its aircraft communications and reporting systems were switched off less than an hour after takeoff. However, Unlike the plane seabed constructor reappeared and now appears to be back on task combing the Indian Ocean. The boat has been contracted by Texas exploration firm Ocean Infinity, signing a deal which guarantees them $70 million if the plane is found within 90 days. Others speculated the ship might have taken a detour to take a cheeky look at the wreck of the SV Inca. The ship vanished en route to Sydney in March, 1911, and wasn't found until January, 2016. Docking Perth shortly. It's scouring a 25,000 square kilometre space and it's been out at sea for about the last two weeks. Due back in Perth this morning for some maintenance and to refuel. So this is its first stint. It's been out at sea for two weeks scouring the ocean floor. It's run by a Texas based company called Ocean Infinity. Signed a deal with the Malaysian government to search this area over a period of three months, and it's operating under a no find, no fee deal. So if it does find the wreckage of the plane, it's looking at up to 70 million US dollars as its reward. But if it doesn't find anything, there will be no fee. So um, it's certainly an important expedition for this crew, but it's actually what happened a week ago that's got people talking and conspiracy theorists sort of excited. Uh, there are websites where you can track this ship's movements and if we look at some of the pictures from that website you can see that the seabed constructor performed this curious loop several kilometres wide and then it abruptly turned off its satellite monitoring system with no explanation and that stayed off for three days. There's no indication from the operator of the ship or the Malaysian government as to where it went. Malaysia Thursday quashed rumours swirling after a ship searching for Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 disappeared from tracking screens, saying it had simply made a refuelling stop in Australia and would resume the hunt. 